has caught over 810 pound plus largemouth bass, holder of 13 worldwide patents, and inventor of the Weedless Trolling Motor Prop. Doug Hannon is the Bass Professor. A jig and craw worm or a jig and pork are among the pros' favorite lures for coaxing bass out of really heavy cover. Brush, docks, anything where big bass hang, and it's also one of the best lures to fish, believe it or not, on spinning tackle. It's because this gives you the ultimate feel and vertical control, because you can flip the bale and give it totally free line without any fear of backlashing, letting it drop down in those nooks and crannies and heavy cover and really pulling the big bass out. A look underwater will show you just how to work this lure and just what we mean. When you work a jig, you have to understand that you're imitating a crayfish, and this jig here has a crayfish trailer on the back. When you imitate a crayfish action, it's not a swimming motion at all, but a series of short little jerks, very short jerks, along with slow drags as if a bug is walking on the bottom. This is how a crayfish moves, by short intermittent twitches of his tail and then slowly walking over the bottom. When worked properly, the jig is a perfect imitation of this. And I also want you to observe that even as a lure falls, we bump the lure as if the crawfish is twitching its tail. As you've seen, crawfish can be worked through brush and wood, and it's a very good lure for fish in heavy cover, like these bass here. But remember that steep drop-offs are one of the prime places for a jig because it falls vertically. What you'll find is that fish are concentrated on these walls, usually small schools of bait fish, and then bass are always nearby. Trust me, when you drop that jig past that school of bait fish, the bass is going to find it. If you've enjoyed today's edition as much as I have being here for you, then don't forget, click on that button and send this to a friend.